Hey, this is Nick. Today we're diving into QuickBooks Online specifically for real estate investors. And we're gonna talk about how to track renovation expenses on your own projects, your flips that you're doing, your internal renovations, how to track them on the P&L, or the income statement and the balance sheet, how to move it between the two. There's different situations that would warrant you to move it to one or the other. So if you are an investor or you're a bookkeeper for investors, you're gonna to wanna to tune into this. This is a quick video, but really, really important. We're gonna talk about investing in our own property. So what I have here on the right side of my screen is a typical kind of investment analysis that investors are doing where we are buying properties and then we're gonna fix them, then we're gonna sell them, right? Flipping. Okay, and when we do that, we're often looking at some kind of profit summary that looks like a P&L. And for this reason, many flippers are going to want to see their flips, their projects on a profit and loss. And I am in that boat as well. I like to see that as well. And so when we move to QuickBooks Online, we like to take advantage of the projects portal. Okay, the other thing that we have to keep in mind is that this investment, when we spend money, Technically, it doesn't belong on the P&L. Technically, it doesn't belong on the P&L. It's an investment. It means it goes more toward like inventory in our balance sheet, right? However, we as business owners, the ones operating the business or the bookkeepers, we might have the need to want to see it in different ways. So I'm going to show you how we can see it in all the different ways and get kind of the best of both worlds here. 